Hello mm-hmm. and welcome to the Hessian Scrum Special. Joining us today is none other than the legendary artwork designer, Turka. Uh, yeah, I guess that's me, yes. Hello, <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> so so, te- so <laughs> to tell us, you know, you're still doing quite a lot of artwork nowadays for a lot of bands. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, a bit. Um, I have, uh, let me check, a couple, no, three album covers on the way, but it's uh, always so slow because the bands are in the studio and uh, it always takes like a really long time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always a long process normally. Yeah, yeah but uh, I, I do. I do, yeah. So I see yeah. you're working with a lot of uh, you know digital art nowadays. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's uh, I I don't know. It's uh, I uh, I think it's uh, uh, like uh, uh, it doesn't matter what you use, but how you use it. It's like uh, uh, I basically use photos of uh, uh, like I use uh, acrylics. It's the uh, same. I don't. Uh, uh, do anything uh, really complicated. I don't even know what the half to, half to stamp buttons do in the photos. So <laughs> it's just like, uh, but it's uh, it's uh, on this uh, stuff. It's uh, much. It works for me. I can uh, just uh, start drawing and uh, uh, change and change things and uh, um, and also because I do these layouts and uh, those are really asked to do by with uh, skissos and paper or something. You know, yeah. so I can do the whole package uh, at the same time. And, yes, yeah. I've seen. You know, sometimes people do. Um, you know, high commission you. You know, to do multiple artworks on an album. Yeah, yeah, the back covers and uh, and the layouts and then something for the CD and uh, and uh, stuff. And what was the last last thing uh, I did? Uh, sometimes uh, people ask me for stuff on acrylics also. Yeah, I got to say I'm not I'm not really that great painter. <laughs> With acrylics, but uh, if somebody wants, I can. I guess uh, uh, this was the the last one I this uh, galvanizer. They wanted uh, they wanted this uh, this kind of uh, acrylic cover, but uh, it's just like a, I have to photograph it and all that. And back in the day, I always uh, um, um, when I painted with acrylics and. I didn't know about this repro, ca- repro cameras and stuff. Mm. So I just, okay, okay, it's done. I uh, just uh, roll it in a tube and I sent it to Spain or something. And uh, normally the fans didn't even see it, <laughs> didn't see it before they hopefully got some uh, uh, records from the company. They didn't see it before that. And uh, nowadays it's uh, totally different with the computer. Uh, just like I can send basically every day, like, uh, okay, it looks like this now. What, what do you think? What do you do? You want to change something? So it's completely different uh, way of working, I think. Well, it works suits for me because it's more like a uh, band, band gets uh, what they want. Uh, and uh, if I don't like the ideas, I'm going to explain that uh, I don't think that's uh, that's the best way to do it, and uh, so, uh, such as uh, something else, you know. And uh, it's more like uh, working with the band and not being the uh, I'm an artist, I'm not going to change anything. <laughs> so, so, you know, let, let's go to the, your style. It's so unique, so particular. Um, you know, it is the kind of the artwork for Finnish death metal in general. So how, how did you develop that style? Well, the, I've been asked that many times and I really don't know, actually. It's like, a, I guess it's, well, I like Giger, as I might have mentioned that every now and then. I think, uh, um, you know, this, uh, this kind of stuff, I, I think uh, this is the, uh, I guess this is the first time I used it, this kind of space line, I call it, <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, yes. And, um, so I think this is the about the first uh, one that I used it, and uh, I don't know where it came from, but it's just like a... <laughs> it's really hard to explain. Actually, it's, uh, I don't know basically. You know, what were your influences when you were growing up painting and? Uh, well, well, Giger, uh, of course. Uh, like uh, I'm sure everybody's really surprised about that. I'm sure, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and uh, well. All kinds of because back then there was not like a you could you couldn't go to the internet and see like 
three million artworks everywhere. And I, that's like I stuff from, uh, I go to library and uh, borrow art books and stuff and like that. And uh, comics and uh, whatever you have. And it's like, a, it was not like, the, like nowadays, it's really overload that there's like, okay, that's a, sit on the internet and, ah, oh, that's cool, oh, next. And that's cool, yeah, and next. And it's like, a, there was much less stuff, basically, to inspiration, for inspiration. So did you have to, so, you know, whenever you received that, you know, you saw a piece of artwork, you know, at the library or something, would you spend a lot of time looking at it? And, you know, because it's not like now on the internet, you know, next, next, next. But Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. And it's like, a, well, it does totally different because uh, <laughs> like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this one um, in the uh, library back in Loima, there was this, um, a book about uh, uh, Egyptian uh, uh, history. And uh, there was this uh, photos of these uh, mummies, mm. of course. And uh, so, uh, let's see, I, so uh, it resulted into this, uh, on this. And uh, those are like uh, real mummies, like uh, they are uh, taken from uh, real mummies. And, and uh, many years later, like uh, when, I, when I was already living in France, and I went to Perpignan, and mm. there was this uh, kind of museum uh, uh, with full of this Egyptian, Egyptian stuff. And uh, I went to this room, and there's, uh, there's like a, this mummies there, like uh, on boxes, glass boxes. And I was like, yeah, I've seen this guy before. And oh, yeah, oh, this that guy also. That's on the left hand side of the uh, <laughs> cover. Quite kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you got involved, you know, with bands like Adremalek, Demigod, and Demilek from the very beginning. You know, your brother spent, you know, mm -hmm. what, over 25 years in Adremalek and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a, um, Demigod, and uh, I went to school with the guys. And, uh, uh, and uh, well, Jarko is my brother, the guy from Adremalek. And that, of course, helped a bit uh, to get started for me. Because uh, it's kind of funny, it's like uh, Loima back in the day was like, what, 7,000 people, this kind of small village, basically, or small town. And there's like two, two Atramile and Demigod uh, from that uh, small village. And well, uh, and uh, that's how I got started on this design stuff, because uh, they, this, they thought that uh, I can throw, throw a bit. I'm not sure about that, but uh, it's like uh, I was the only guy that they knew that uh, who could... Uh, Throw a bit, so I did the uh, Demi Cuts logo and uh, uh, all the stuff uh, for Atramele and and uh, Demi I met later and uh, they just asked, uh, they sent me a letter uh, if I could do this uh, the record cover and uh, well I did that twice and uh, <laughs> was for the first time, uh, first time and then uh, this uh, Spanish re-release. And I did that cover also. There's a story on that. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like a, and uh, it was uh, really good for me because uh, back in the day, the advertising worked like uh, um, that uh, uh, flyers. Mm. That, uh, like uh, when uh, Demigod, uh, they sold their first demo, this Unholy Domain. Yes. And uh, they sold over, I think, uh, th over a thousand copies of that. My God. Yes, and uh, and uh, of course uh, um, I copied, uh, made a uh, real lot of these smaller flyers and put on, uh, gave to gave to them and just uh, they put it on everywhere. So uh, every letter with the demo cassette. So uh, it was like a, it was good good advertising. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these in your artwork and in your you know in the music that was going on in your with those guys, mm -hmm. it's very spiritual. You know, you don't have the blood, the gore. I mean, let's take the Slumber of Sullen Eyes cover. The, the man literally yeah. meditating. Yeah, but actually I didn't do that. It's a common misconception. Rob Schmidt did that. Ah. I did the logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you, don't worry, you're not the first, first uh, person who thinks that. <laughs> I didn't it's, do that, actually. Yeah, it, it's similar to it's your style, though. Problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, yeah, 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 it's, it's nice, and, but uh, yeah, I, I understand totally that people think that I did it, but it's, uh, it's this Canadian guy, I'm still actually not, not, not really, but I, I was a bit pissed uh, at the time, because someone wanted this, uh, this guy to do it, and, uh, 
you know it, it, it reminds me also you know maybe pure blood doom is a lot more abstract it's also very spiritual um you know all, yes. seven uh nespit all that stuff that you did Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's a story about this pure blood doom. Um, so, um, so, yeah, this is, the, uh, this is the original version, and I did the new version also. Yeah. And, uh, but the story is that, okay, uh, on this album, I wrote most of the lyrics also. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, had to uh, read lots of books about all kinds of mythology and stuff. And uh, so um, I just uh, brought uh, almost totally rigs. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so there was uh, like a, uh, this Norwegian Viking mythology and uh, Egyptian mythology and uh, some whatever. There's one song that I, I even I'm not sure what to hilis it about. And uh, uh, some Lovecraftian stuff and uh, all kinds of stuff. And okay. And uh, so I sent all the lyrics to the band and the, the album, and then I started asking that, uh, okay, so uh, what, it, what, what is the album name? Like, uh, and uh, they liked, uh, we want Pure Blood Doom. Okay, so it's uh, it's all kind of metal name and everything. Uh, but the only problem for design the cover was that, okay, uh, this uh, Pure Blood Doom, uh, this, uh, what's the name? Yeah, the song is about Nazi occultism. Oh. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, uh, kind of, I was like, oh, Christ, why, why this? Like, it's not exactly the easiest uh, uh, subject uh, to make a record cover of, or it actually is, but uh, if you wanted to a record cover that you can actually sell something, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> a bit more complicated, you know, when you... It's like, a... <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, thank you, guys. That was uh, really like, uh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I love you, too. I was like, a... when I... <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like a bit of a mess, but oh, it turned out good. I guess I have some sketches here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, yeah. Now oh, there's, uh... there's this the kind of original. Oh, wow. That's right. And uh, uh, this sketchbook, uh, uh, it's really messy, but uh, yeah, yeah, there's like a yeah, it was kind of hard to hard to like uh, like uh, okay, what I'm gonna do because uh, of course I am not gonna uh, you know you, there's all kinds of symbols and stuff on that uh, that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, no, 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 it's it's not very good idea to use them. You know? So, well, but it turned out fine. So, <laughs> okay. I guess <laughs> nobody has uh, uh, <laughs> like firebomb at me or anything. So, I guess it's not like, uh, back, back then, it was a bit different. But I don't know nowadays. I was a bit worried about it because the, this really released a couple of years ago. And uh, <laughs> so, it's, uh, well, but it seems to be fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, it's such a good album, you know, no, no one cares, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, like it yes, but, uh, but you, know, hmm? yes. you know, one one thing I found very, you know, very unique. Like it's still very obvious that it's you, but the, you know, the pravity silence of the centuries. I think you know the colors you're using are very atypical of your style. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh... <laughs> oh yeah. There, there's a story of that also because. Um, yeah, it was one of those, uh, uh, yeah, this uh, depravity thing. It was like, uh, um, let me check. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, so, um, anyway, this cover, um, mm, yeah, it was one of those covers that I did. I, I rolled it in a tube, and uh, the panty didn't see it before they saw the album. <laughs> and uh, and uh, many years later, um, this um, I did this uh, re-release of it. Uh, they wanted to re-release it, and uh, of course I don't find it now. But 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 yeah. But anyway, so uh, 
I don't know. But anyway, so um, this uh, one guy in the United States wanted to re-release it. And I uh, thought this compilation where there was all these demos and all, everything also. Mm. And uh, he messaged me that, uh, do you have the cover still? And that I would like to use it. And I, I was like, oh, I have no idea where it is uh, for many years now. Yeah. Because I thought, uh, no, no idea, sorry. But I can do it again. And uh, OK, and, uh, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. And um, so I, I read it, the whole cover. And, uh, um, and uh, I started, it started to look good, good. So I sent him, and so how, what do you think about this? And, uh, um, and he was like, yeah, that looks really good. And uh, did you use acrylics or, or this oil colors? And <laughs> then I said, uh, no, Photoshop. And holy shit, uh, this, uh, this guy had a really <laughs> like, ah, no, 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 because he's really like this really old school, yeah, really old school guy. And uh, um, and uh, he was like, ah, 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 no. And uh, but uh, well, uh, then we talked when he calmed down, calmed down a bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, we talked and uh, we just okay, let's not tell anybody that this Photoshop. And I'm, I'm gonna do it as much as, as uh, looking like a, like a, it's done in acrylics. Yeah. And he wanted me to paint it in acrylics, and I actually told him that uh, because uh, that's uh, I think that's the second painting I ever did. And uh, the original version. Yeah. And <laughs> and and I said to him that uh, uh, I I cannot paint that badly anymore. I, uh, not, uh, if, <laughs> I don't know how to paint that <laughs> paint that bad. So you know, like uh, because it's uh, actually this. Uh, um, uh, this is the first uh, first thing I ever painted. A uh, spring of recovery. Yeah. Yes. And uh, um, the funny thing is that, okay, so Jarko told me that we would need a cover, we could do this single. And okay, well, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, okay, I can try to do something. And then he said that, okay, it needs to be on color. And I go, yeah, okay. And uh, went to went to art, art uh, <laughs> shop and uh, bought this acrylics and some, uh, some of these uh, brushes. And then I went home and okay, and I was like, uh, yeah, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, so uh, well, I did that then, and it's like I, I never used any of those before. So, like uh, normally, people when they start painting, they can just hide them in the attic or something. You know, the first uh, first uh, painting paintings. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, my mine is here, like uh, like it's a record cover. Yeah, I mean, it, it's impressive because you brought those sketches with you to France. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just like a, I didn't want to throw them away, so, so they're traveling a bit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Now, you know, um, so, some time ago, you know, because I, I, you know, we also have a label, we released the second album by this band called Mephitis, who you did the, the artwork for Ember Dawn. Ah, yeah, 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 those guys, yes. Yeah, so we did the second album, so, but, you know, I, I have a copy of the first album. Now, the thing that annoyed me is that a lot of people have been saying that, oh, this reminds me of Demilic just by looking at the cover. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, a... <laughs> yeah, that's a. Hmm. Well, but I don't know. It's a. Yeah, it's, it's a... I don't remember that this uh, this uh, this new release. I I don't. I don't. I don't think I have seen it. I've heard that they released a new album, but I haven't seen it actually. Yeah. So I'll, really I'll send cool. you a CD if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, I like the first one. It's like a, that was, <laughs> so, so, but yeah, but you know, we see this, like, when people see your artwork or something done in a similar style, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, our cover art has a weird way of, uh, like, deceiving people to thinking, oh, wait, this is obviously inspired by Demilic or, the, you know, Demigod. Uh, yeah, there might be a reason for that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I've worked a lot, a lot with Demi uh, the, Well, they don't really so much, but uh, it's like, uh, but uh, these t-shirts and uh, stuff. And, uh, so yeah, I guess it's, uh, oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's uh, yeah, this. Uh, oh yes, I think this is uh, yeah, this is uh, was uh, originally for the, 
the when they went to stage to this big festival, and it was the black and white version. Then, and then I made this color version. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a kind of because uh, sometimes when I somebody posts a cover that I did, and uh, there's always this comment like, "Okay, there's no way this is not Turkka." <laughs> <laughs> It's like I guess it's kind of recognizable. <laughs> no, because you know we've seen so many bands. You know that you know there's sometimes even cover cover work, which I know it's not you, but it looks like your style. Like someone really tried to copy you. Oh well, I guess that's a, I take that's a, that as a compliment. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can I say? Yeah, so, yeah, so, so you know, um, let's say you know when you're painting something for a band. Do you listen to the music at the same time? Do you try? Do you read the lyrics? Do you try to imagine the scene in your head? Um, normally, uh, usually when I when I uh, do the cover, the band is in a studio and uh, I, I cannot hear their music. <laughs> it's like uh, that's the. I, um, normally, I just ask that uh, if they have any idea, and uh, uh, of course, if there's some lyrics, that helps. It's like. Uh, Normally it goes like I, I ask for some lyrics and I read the lyrics and then I just uh, don't think about it for a week and suddenly when I'm like, uh, I don't know, brushing my teeth or whatever, and I just, then I have this idea, like, uh, and, uh, it's just, uh, it's just works, uh, works in here for a while and I don't even think about it and uh, just like, a, then it just pops out someday and it's a bit tiring to wait, but uh, normally there's not, not so much in, they are not so much in a hurry, so. <laughs> yeah. So you know, um, you know when you're work doing logos versus doing you know artwork, is it the same kind of process in your mind, or or is a logo much easier to do? Um, I'd say <laughs> uh, logos are actually it's like um, when I took cover, it's like a ten percent idea, and the uh, rest of it is like uh, uh, just working on sitting on my ass and drawing. It's mm. like a, it's just like a, it's like this. And uh, logos are totally different. So it's normally like 90% of idea and then 10% of work. It's like a, it's a, it's different. It, it's different. It's like a, a with the logo, it's uh, sometimes like a, you just need to do the sketches and sketches and then, okay, that might work. And uh, then it's just a, uh, and uh, now what is also when uh, with a, uh, computer it's like uh, so this internet it's like a uh, different also because I can send uh, send these sketches all the time uh, to the band and uh, uh, back uh, back in the day uh, okay I go to my PO box and okay there's a letter from uh, I don't know somewhere in South America or something and hello we are band uh, our name is this and could you do, do us a logo and we play this kind of stuff and like that. And uh, uh, okay, so I uh, do like uh, two or three sketches. And okay, I sent them, uh, sent them to South America. And then I wait for a month. And uh, then, uh, then they uh, like uh, there's this response that okay, this number one is pretty good. We like this one. Can you throw it? And then I throw it and uh, send it to. <laughs> Send it to South America. It uh, takes like months. Actually. Oh, like, uh, and uh, then I then I get uh, get this uh, uh, dollar bills uh, on a letter. Like <laughs> I still have some uh, somewhere. Somewhere I think it's like a, so it's a bit faster nowadays. It's like a, but it's uh, it's different. Uh, this logo thing. It's like a, it's uh, much more about the idea. And I really like to do this uh, readable logos, like uh, that you can actually read them. I used to when I was Titan, I did these logos, and uh, um, I tested uh, them on my mom. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I just, uh, hey, I did this, and uh, uh, what does it say? And uh, well, basically, she noticed that it's upside down in less than five minutes. So it's like, uh, okay, it's readable enough. So it's like, <laughs> so uh, like, uh, because I like these kind of logos that, uh, like, uh, of course, those are fun if you can, like, uh, it looks like what the fuck is that? It's like, but uh, I, I rather do this kind of readable logos. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, do you, have you seen, you know, those festival flyers, like brutal death metal bands where, you don't know what band they're playing and they have to put little, you know, 
uh, in small yeah, characters yeah, yeah. underneath, you know. <laughs> yeah, and there's this funny, uh, have you ever seen this, uh, there's this uh, big festival, so there's this one band, this party cannon. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, and there's always like this, uh, like this uh, logo that look like a five meter piece or pieces of uh, Bob Fly or something. And, uh, and then there's this party cannon with uh, all these colors. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's quite funny, I uh, think. But, but I think they, they you know, they, they do it as a um, parody more than anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more like that, but it's always so funny. I mean, there's all these uh, uh, brutal uh, logos and there's part of gun and like, uh, <laughs> it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like a, see a Santa Claus at a funeral or something. So it's like a sticks out. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, this uh, logo, talking about, talking about logos, it's like a, this um, Atramelech logo. And, uh, Okay, they were starting and they asked me to do, to do the logo and I did uh, like, I don't know, 50 different versions. Like, how about this? No, it's not brutal enough. No, it's not brutal enough. And, uh, then I throw some more and, and how, no, it's not brutal enough. No, it's not brutal enough. And uh, then I just got pissed off, <laughs> pissed off and uh, I throw this, uh, uh, the first version of the Atome logo is like a, done, <laughs> done as a joke. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's just like a, uh, I did this. Like a, uh, it looks like a, this, uh, like a, there's million spikes and everything. And then I just uh, okay, is this brutal enough? Fuck. And uh, yeah, okay, that's good. And, uh, 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 <laughs> and uh, then I then I throw this a bit more readable version. So I, I just uh, removed a bit later, it's like uh, like covertly. I uh, made it a bit more readable. But it's like, but that's the first version of the logo was like that. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, so you you know sometimes you know you've worked on a lot of reissues or you know compilations and um, you know sometimes sometimes where they ask you you know for original you know artwork but in the same universe as the previous artwork, like you know mm -hmm. for the twentieth century um, Demilic the anniversary no the twentieth year anniversary or twenty I can't remember yeah the twenty year anniversary for Demilic yep. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, this compilation, uh, this, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I have the vinyl version of it, it's fucking massive, it's like, uh, just a second, uh, yeah, but uh, it's like, uh, it's this, uh, oh, yeah, it's here, this is like, uh, I, you mean this? Yes, this one, yeah. Uh, it's like, a, it weighs like two kilos or something, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, I, I, I kind of like this, uh, this one, it's like, uh, yeah, is this the same uh, character that uh, was in this uh, originally, this Repulse, uh, Spanish version of the uh, Nesbit, and uh, this T-shirt is also the same, same kind of, same, uh, it's uh, like, a, I don't know, uh, like a, <laughs> this Eddie for uh, Iron Maiden or something, you know, <laughs> that's the Eddie, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, you know, um, in the 90s, you know, you could find a lot of uh, bootlegs, especially in Latin American or Eastern European countries with, you know, the badly recorded versions and they're also hilarious cover art. Have you ever seen stuff that tried to copy your style in that sense? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe some... Uh, I, hmm. uh, Oh, yeah, but, uh, there was this one cover. I don't know what was, but that's how, there was some Facebook comment that that, that looks like, <laughs> that looks like a, to a Turk guy. It's like a, there's a, a bald guy and like, <laughs> it's weird. But I had throwing hair, so, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. anyway. Yes, you, you I, I don't remember really like seeing any that much. So, I just like, uh, maybe I just uh, try to forget them. So. <laughs> Maybe. You know, now I really have to ask you this. You know, in a lot sure. of your, in a lot of those kind of classic artworks, you, you do, you have a tendency to draw naked people in pain. Why is that? Well, well, uh, yeah. well, naked people in pain. So, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's kind of like a, and a lot of slime, yes. Yeah. But uh, and slime, and that's that's my style, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's like a, well, it's dead metal. It's like a, uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs>
Ja, da, das kann man, ja, yeah, now that I think of it, it's like, yeah, that's... <laughs> You know, because I, I saw one comment that was hilarious. So when Ember Dawn came out, you know, someone said, there's ugly naked retards on the cover. This is something that Toka did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, there is, you know. Oh, well, <laughs> what can I say? It's like, a, uh, it's, yeah, it's, I guess it's uh, kind of like my style. And I, I don't... Uh, really do this uh, lots of this uh, uh, really gore stuff uh, so much so it's like uh, it's more like this kind of weird uh, weird uh, twisted uh, forms and whatever i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to do them but i don't know how to explain them but uh, so. yeah. see because see, all finish you know the original finish death metal stuff all these bands all of them mm -hmm. were weird your artwork was weird why is everything mm -hmm. so twisted in finland well <laughs> i've never been in finland <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, maybe it's because uh, just uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit different if if you actually compare to Sweden at the time. It's a, it's a different sound, yeah. And uh, I don't know uh, why is why is it like that, but it's like a, I guess it's just like a, there's half a half a year there's no sun or anything. So uh, and uh, well, maybe alcohol also. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, those are those are like uh, interesting, <laughs> and uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There's uh, like <clears throat> really, really like weird, weird stuff uh, coming from there. Like, uh, yeah, they made it. It's like a <laughs> yeah, the, the top weirdness. I guess. So I guess uh, Demi God is more like a bit more like a no, somehow normal, a bit more like normal music. Uh, emotional, you know. I'd say very emotional. Yeah, but and also also like a, it's a, the, the uh, like a riff song, not like a uh, like this. Like a, I remember this. Uh, uh, you were also on this gig uh, on um, Toulouse, and uh, I was just like uh, watching. Like uh, there was all the was guitarist play, like on the front row, like uh, when Demi was Demi Lee was playing, and, like this, and uh, like uh, I was like uh, I didn't remember that. Uh, <laughs> boom and anti anti has like eight fingers uh, like oh yeah like, yeah so it like, looks like it looks like that but it's like a, I think it's, but uh, I guess demi cut is a bit more like a, uh, I don't know normal normal yeah. kind of <laughs> dead, as normal as death metal can be it's like you know it's like a but a bit more normal but yeah there's a there's a different it's a different sound yeah that's true so you know what are your favorite artworks in metal, you know, that aren't yours? Ones that you really think, oh, this is good art. Huh. Let me think. Well, I, uh, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Uh, well, that's a hard question. Huh? Well, of course, I, uh, uh, I'm an old fart, so uh, I grew up with all this uh, uh, Dio and Iron Maiden and stuff. And uh, of course, those were like... Uh, like uh, back then, like whoa, like uh, well, I don't know, but newer ones. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, <clears throat> there's uh, there's so much stuff nowadays that uh, yeah, there's uh, like a I kind of yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like the like the but. Let me think. I think I should check actually. Ah, that's a that's actually a hard question because it's like a, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, I think. Oh God! Oh God! Damn it! Uh, <clears throat> right. Uh, next question. I, I try to think. I think of it as like a. <laughs> There's so much stuff nowadays. That, uh, it's just like a, nothing really like. A... Ah, damn. Oh, okay, but uh, next next question, I, I try to think about it. Uh, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Do, do, go. <laughs> do you do any art that's uh, outside the scope of metal? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's just like a. Uh, well, I used to uh, I spent ten years working in advertising, and, uh, and I do this kind of stuff also. Like uh, now, I'm working on this uh, this beer festival in Oulu, and it's not uh, not very metal, but I do the advertising for that. And and then I 
I should start painting again, but I, when I paint, I, I normally it's not like this uh, dead metal kind of stuff. It's more like a, well, it's fucking weird still, but there's like a, it's not a, that different kind of weird. It's like, a, and uh, well, I, well, if somebody asks, I, mm. yeah, it's like a, this kind of concert posters and stuff. And uh, well, now, now with the COVID, there's not so much concerts, but now it's starting again, luckily. So <laughs> that's been a bit quiet on that front, you know. <laughs> so. All right, you know, I think that leaves us done. Um, any final words? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, order, order some covers, damn it, people. Please. <laughs> give, <laughs> give the man some money. Just give him money. Not even covers, PayPal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that works also, but I guess it's like, uh, if, if I do something in return, I guess it's more proper. Uh, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Toka. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thanks, thanks to you, Anna.